What is going on guys? This is Sky Vault and welcome to the next episode in this tiled programming series where I'm going to teach you how to uh, animate and draw tile maps in Love 2D. So uh, today what we're going to be working on is we're going to be making uh, animated tiles work. So in uh, tiled we can we can do this thing where we can have animated tiles and yeah we're going to get them rendering and all that. So first things first, uh, let me just show you what I did with the tile set. So all I did was I added this uh, strip of tiles right here. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to have the animated tile basically loop through all of these, uh, loop through all the colors here. So let's actually set this up in our tile map. So in tiled right here, we have our tile map open and we want to edit our tile set. So we're going to click right there. And now we're going to click right here on the tile animation editor. And this is where we're going to actually edit all our animations. So we want to click the tile and then we want to double, uh, actually let me go back, let me go back. We want to click the tile that we want the animation to be saved on. So I'm going to click right here on this red tile right here. And then we're going to click the animation editor. And now we're going to select all the frames that we want to be a part of our animation. So to do that, just double click on each frame. All the way down here. I'm double clicking. And then we're going to click apply. All right, now let's close out here. And you'll see that there is, let me zoom in here a little bit you'll see that there's this uh, symbol right here. The symbol just means that this is an animated tile. So let's save, so control S, or you can save up in here. And then let's close this right here. So now we have an animated tile. And if we click that tile over here, you can see that it's animated. So let's just draw this out right here. So I'm just gonna surround all that in, with the tile. And then let's save. Um, so now that we saved, let's export the tile set. So I'm gonna name this, uh, Tile map animated animated. Tile map animated. Lua. Um, and I'm not gonna put it in this folder, I'm gonna put it in our tiled folder right here. So let's save and we should be ready to go. Alright, so let's open up our program. Let's go to main and let me let's open up uh, the the tile map uh, wait what, what did I name it? Let me let me go let me check that out. I name it tile map animated. I wasn't sure if it was tiled map or tile map. All right, just like that. All right, so now if we run this, uh, we'll see that it's not animated, but it will draw the first tile in the animation right there. So let's go into our tiled map file. Right here. So first things first, we want to, uh, well actually let me show you what actually is generated when we create this tile map. So let me split the pane over here, whoops. And let's open up our animated tile map right here. So in the tile sets uh, table right here, you'll see that there is um, there is this new t uh, table right here called tiles. And for each tile, there's a ID and then an a array of animations. Um, and there's also a few other things that get stored in here eventually. When we work with um, like different, you know, auto, autos, changing tiles and stuff like that. But for now, we're really interested in just this animation table right here. So to make it easier to access, we want to store this in a different way. And this is, I'm going to set no wrap, just a second. There we go. So we, let's actually, uh, let's actually do this. So we're going to say map dot animated tiles is equal to a table. So we're going to create a new table. And what we're going to do is we're going to loop through every single tile in this tiles array right here, or in this tiles uh, table. So we're going to say for i tile in i pairs, and we're going to say tile set dot tiles do. All right. So this tile right here represents everything past here. So if we have multiple animations, we're going to have multiple tiles in this. It's, there's going to be multiple of those tiles right there. And we're going to say map dot animated tiles at index tile dot id tile id is right here this represents the tile id is equal to tile dot uh, no just tile um, one thing to keep in mind uh, each one of these tiles can have a different duration but in this in this uh, episode we're not actually going to be using this duration right here just to keep things simple um, we're doing that just because we don't want we want to have every single tile in the map animate at the exact same rate um, if you want to you can do some more work in add this functionality in, but I'm not going to do that in this episode just because it's a, it's a lot of work and it's not that efficient also. So we, I'm not going to worry about that for now. 
All right, so we're going to need to define some variables right here for our animation. So we're going to define the uh, current frame that we're going to be drawing. And then we're going to define the uh, a timer. The timer is basically just going to you know count up until it passes the threshold. And that's going to go back to zero. And then we're going to increment the frame. And then we need to know what the threshold is. So max timer. And we're going to set to one millisecond or so. All right. So if we just run this, nothing's going to happen. Uh, it's always good to run though to make sure things don't crash. So let's create a new function. We're going to need to update our map. So let's create an update function right here. And let's actually call that update function from our main. So let me copy, oops. Let me copy all this right here. Change draw to update. Actually, up, update. There we go. Pass in DT right there. Let's change this one to, uh, man, I'm having a lot of troubles today with typing. There we go. It's, sometimes it's harder on a bigger screen since I hike up the uh, font size. All right, so let's go back to our tile map. Um, so what we want to do now is actually do some timing stuff and actually have our frame counter go up. So to do that, we're going to say, uh, we're going to say if, first off, we're going to check if the timer is greater than the max timer. So we're going to say if self.timer is greater than self.max timer. And what we want to do is increment the frame. So we're going to say self.frame is equal to self.frame plus one. And we're going to say self.timer is equal to zero. So that's just going to reset our timer to zero. And then down here, we want to uh, increment the timer by delta time. So self.timer is equal to self.timer plus uh, DT. There we go. So we got, let's let's just print the uh, the frame. So if we print the frame, uh, first off, let's see, uh, arithmetic on DT. So we must not, let's, let's go back to main and let's make sure that we're actually passing in DT. All right. So now if we run this, we'll see, uh, okay, self.frame is now nil. So did we name it something wrong? Map. Uh, self. Oh, missing the self. There we go. All right, so you'll see that we just have a counter that is incrementing right now. And we can use this counter as an index into that table array to find out what the tile ID needs to be for each animated tile. So let us actually do that. So let's go down into the map.draw function, and this is where we're going to do all that work over here. All right, so we want to first check and see if the tile um, even has an animation, all right? So to do that, we're just going to say if self.animatedTiles, and this is really why we made this uh, table. Uh, it makes doing all this work a lot easier. So if animatedTiles TID minus one is uh, not equal to nil, then we know that there's a tile. Let me, now I'm going to, I'm going to move this uh, pane over. There we go. Let's move that pan over. All right. So we now know that this tile ID has an animation. So what we want to do is let's actually grab that uh, grab that animation out. So we're going to say local anim is equal to self dot animated tiles at TID minus one. Don't forget to subtract one from that. And we're just going to grab the animation. And this corresponds to this table right here. All right. So now that we have the animation, we want to get the length of the animation to know how many frames there actually is. So we're going to say it's just equal, num frames is just equal to anim, the number of anim. All right. And then now we want to get the, uh, the, uh, the index. So the index is going to be equal to self.frames, self.frame rather, mod num frames. What this does is it basically, actually, I can print this. So let's print index. So you saw that our self.frame um, counts up to infinity. But we only want it to count up to however many um, frames are in the animation and then go back. So if we mod uh, this by num frames, so what this does, by the way, is it divides this uh, divides self.frame by num frames and then returns the remainder. And that remainder will be within the range uh, 0 and um, the maximum number of tiles right here. And we can I, I can show you that right here if we, if we run it. So you'll see that it goes up to eight and then it goes back to zero. Um, and then down here, this is just the frame. 
So that is exactly what we want. And now we can actually use this index into our array to change the uh, tile ID. So let's say tile ID is equal to self, uh, is equal to anum rather, um, index, and we have to add one because it's within zero to one uh, range right now. So we want to add one to that so it's between one and the max. And then we want to grab the, uh, the new tile ID. So we're going to say tile ID right there. Um, but this tile ID is one less than it actually needs to be again. So let's, uh, let's add one to there. And let's cross your fingers. If everything worked out, you'll see that we have animated tiles. You'll see that this is animating right here. And uh, yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. It was a very, uh, very short episode. Um, in the next episode, maybe I'll t uh, show you guys how to work with um, the uh, properties and objects and stuff like that. But it's, a, it's all pretty simple stuff. Um, if you have any suggestions, oh, actually, in the future episodes, we need to start working with infinite tile maps, because infinite tile maps are actually supported and tiled right here. But yeah, uh, that's all in the future. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you found this useful, let me know. Leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, I have a Patreon now, so if you want to support my channel, uh, that will be amazing. But yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.